Hey, this is Matt from Vestaquant. Today is Thursday, March 10, 2022. Yesterday, the market saw a sizable up gap, and after a little bit of volatility early on, they continued their move higher after the open, closing strong on the day. The gap in the morning was almost 100 points in the S&P. That is uh, one of the larger ones we have seen in quite a while. And what we're going to be looking at this morning is what has happened historically following that type of pattern where you get a giant gap and continues higher. So let me go ahead and set this up and discover. We're going to grab all four instruments. The setup's based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, the market's trading lower in the overnight session, so I'm going to add that by going to the opening filters gap direction and clicking on gap down. And the pattern that we saw yesterday, we had the largest up gap of the past 20 days. So I'm going to grab that from the active today section. It's actually uh, this bottom option down here, day after largest up gap in 20 days. And then I'm also going to say that not only was it a giant gap, I'm going to say it continued higher after the open by saying it closed above the open. So uh, location last close, I'm going to say the close was above the open. All right, I've got both of those. Now I'm going to go down to the indicators, put us in a similar market environment. And for this, I'm going to click below the 200-day uh, moving average here. So yesterday's close was below the 200-day simple moving average. I'm not going to add the 10 just because I want to keep as many samples as possible, and it's a pretty uh, rare pattern as is with it being the largest up gap of the past 20 days. So we're just going to do below a 200 here, and then I'm going to click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you gap down following a day that was a green candlestick, meaning it closed above the open, and it had the largest up gap, uh, which is uh, the distance between the prior close to the open. So that was the largest up gap that I'd seen in at least 20 days. This took place under a 200 day simple moving average. Historically, just 18 samples. So pretty rare pattern here for the S&P. We've got 13 in the NASDAQ, 22 in the Dow, 26 in the Russell. Win rates on these skewed a little bit more towards the downside. And these are small sample sizes. So some of these win rates look pretty weak, but keep in mind it is a small sample size. So it's a little bit easier to get um, extreme win rates or loss rates when you have smaller sample sizes. Uh, S&P 39%, NASDAQ 31%, Dow 41%, and Russell 35%. And that's telling you what percentage of these have closed above the opening print for the day. If we look at the average moves, the average loss larger than the average win here in the S&P. And that's, that's also the case for the other ins instruments as well, the NASDAQ, the Dow, and the Russell. So all four of them have win rates that are a bit weaker and bigger average moves to the downside uh, than their average moves to the upside. So historically, it's been a bit of a weak pattern. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.